space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the USS Enterprise, whose seven-year mission is... Uh, oh, never mind. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Crystal Soul Journey. <laughs> In this video, uh, we'll be featuring uh, some of the crystals going up on our website. Uh, they'll include spectrolite, uh, rough uh, fluorite, uh, green fluorite, and the most amazing piece of uh, petrified driftwood. And uh, no, this is not a picture of space, and this is not Star Trek's seven-year mission. It is indeed spectrolite. And uh, it has the most amazing quality of looking just like space. And if we add a little bit of light, we can even have some more stars. So look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can actually see what you're looking at here. Oh, no, that's in. Let's go out. There we go. And there it is. I'm going to turn that light off because it's annoying me. And that is a beautiful piece of spectrolite. And it's a slab. I've got it sitting on a stand here. I'll just move that away so that you can see it. And a good, I'd say, six and a half inches long by four inches wide by, well, as you can see, not very thick. Now, it has been polished. If I hold the other side, it's raw. That'll give you a rough idea, if you pardon the pun. <laughs> Uh, of what the uh, the rough side of the stone looks like, but over here polished, uh, you get that amazing, amazing quality. And I'll tell you, there is nothing like meditating with a piece of uh, spectrolite. It does look, if I hold it like that, it does look like looking into outer space, uh, except now you're getting a reflection of the camera, which is probably not too helpful. Uh, but again, absolutely beautiful piece. Um, a sensational piece and uh, at a good price so we're thrilled to be able to bring you that and uh, before we uh, go any further we'll move on to our next piece hi guys we're back with the spectrolite which apparently I'm not pronouncing correctly Hilda's told me uh, so let's try it again what is it Hilda? Spectrolite. Uh, apparently <laughs> Apparently, although Hilda's having trouble herself, it's specularite. Uh, but I personally like speculite better than specularite. Or also specular hematite. Or specular hematite. That one I can say. So let's leave it at that. It's specular hematite. Or specularite. Or if you're buying it off of me, it's speculite. Uh, anyway, those are your three options. Uh, let's uh, Now that we've done that to death, let's move on to the next crystal. Okay, this is the last piece I'm going to show you for this video. Uh, it's quite an amazing piece. This is petrified wood, but it's actually petrified driftwood. Um, so it has, I don't know, it has amazing energy to it. And uh, I mean, it really looks like a, a piece of driftwood, um, but it's solid and heavy. And uh, it has a wonderful natural energy to it. Um, and I just absolutely loved it. I think it would make an amazing... Uh, altarpiece or a centerpiece. I mean, that centerpiece is not the right word. What's the environmental piece? That's the word I'm looking for. Um, absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can even see, uh, you know, like almost like the, the, the growth, and that's not really not growth rings, but definitely you can see like the fibers of, uh, of the wood, the grain. That's the word I'm looking for, Hilda. Thank you very much. It was always there to help me. Um, the grain of the, uh, of, uh, well, what once was wood, which is now, uh, now quite clearly a stone or mineral. So absolutely beautiful piece. And that also will be, uh, uh listed if it's not already by the time you get to our shop, it will be soon. And, uh, that's another wonderful piece. So if you, uh, if you've got a thing for, uh, petrified wood like I do, um, as I said, driftwood is not something... Uh, certainly petrified that you see too often uh, so we're thrilled to be able to bring you that piece as well okay that's it for this video thanks for watching uh, and we're going to see you again real soon bye for now okay so this next piece of course is fluorite it's pretty easy to recognize uh, and it's a beautiful uh, green fluorite um, just a wonderful energy to it and a beautiful beautiful color uh, it's like looking in the ocean. Uh, I just absolutely love this piece. And I have another piece uh, that I want to show you as well. And uh, this piece, I guess, would be about four inches wide by three and a half inches 
tall uh, by probably a good two and a half inches thick. So again, we'll have the exact measurements on uh, on the shop, but uh, that'll give you a rough idea as you're looking at it. And if I turn it around, you can see all sides and all, so that you can see the bottom. And again, it does sit on its own. I just have it on the pillow to protect the table. And yes, I know, Hildy, you're getting tired of listening to it, but you know, you need you need to be clear on these things. Right? People need to know. A hundred times, probably not, but whatever. Anyway, so I digress. So the next piece I want to show you, again, this is a beautiful piece, but I like this one as well. And let me put that in the picture right straight away. And I'm going to turn this light on too, because I think that'll help show it a bit better. And uh, this one has more of the characteristic uh, octahedral shape of the crystals. You can certainly see here. Maybe I'll turn that off. There we go. Uh, you can certainly see the octahedral shape, and if I if I draw that in closer, that'll be better to see. Uh, well, maybe not, but yeah, you can sort of see there. I mean, it, it's actually easier to see on uh, in real life than it is on the camera, but you get those octahedral shapes, and you, you can see um, there as well that it's made of those shapes. I absolutely love the color. I mean, good, clear quality uh, fluoride in this piece. Um, so absolutely wonderful. I'll zoom it back out so that you can see the stone in its entirety. Uh, an absolutely lovely piece. Uh, so those are two fluorites that we'll be putting up on our website. Uh, wonderful, wonderful energy. I love fluorite. Uh, very peaceful stone. Um, uh, and I swear by it, if, uh, for me anyway, if you're having trouble sleeping at night, uh, Take a piece of fluoride, either put it, you know, next to your bed or, if you don't mind, in your bed. Uh, you're going to find you'll have an absolute amazing sleep. It certainly works that way for me. Um, I swear by it. So I don't need sleeping pills. I just need a piece of fluoride. All right, let's move on to the next one. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Crystal Soul Journey. Uh, in this video, we'll be uh, discussing porcelain jasper, which you see here. Uh, we have tangerine quartz and some raw tiger's eye. Uh, these pieces will be either already uploaded to our uh, shop on www.crystalsouljourney.com or it will be in the very near future. So this first uh, stone that we have here is called Pitcher Jasper and it's quite a nice piece, a lovely feel to it. Alright, it is, I'm going to say, about six inches long. Uh, probably a good five and a half to six inches tall at the highest part there and probably if I look around that way you know if we're falling from this piece over probably four inches thick so quite a nice piece it does sit on its own um, and uh, a great environmental piece a lovely energy to it all right and I'll just turn it around so that you can see the all sides of it is quite beautiful um, great to stare or gaze into um, you know a series of blues and oranges uh, yeah it's just an absolutely lovely piece I do love Jasper and uh, this is quite a quite an exquisite piece so we're happy to be able to bring that to you and we'll move on to the next piece you see here is tangerine quartz and uh, I really love this piece it's got a great energy to it um, you can see all the crystal formation in there it's absolutely gorgeous uh, about four inches wide by four inches tall and uh, you know maybe three and a half inches thick so it's quite a nice piece again a lovely energy and uh, a great feel to it a great environmental piece uh, more altar piece um, well, yeah absolutely we are Hilda's asking me to show you all the formation so I'm gonna get in there and do that now I might even bring the camera in this way so you can see a little closer um, so you can see the beautiful, obviously the tangerine color, uh, which makes sense. Um, an absolute beautiful formation. So I really like this crystal, and it would make a, a great addition to your uh, to your collection. So we're glad to be able to show you that. And uh, like I said, it'll be on our website uh, if it's not already. So uh, you can check it out there. All right, let's move on to the next piece. Okay, and as you can see, we actually have three individual pieces of uh, raw tiger's eye. Um, and again, I really love tiger's eye. It has that lovely piece, if I can get that and shine that light so you can see that 
telltale uh, golden or amber line that runs through uh, Tiger's, Tiger's Eye. Um, and these are quite lovely pieces. Um, this one here I would say is probably four inches wide, maybe even five inches wide. Sorry about that. Um, by three and a half uh, inches long by probably a good inch thick, maybe an inch and a half thick. So uh, it's quite a nice piece. Then we have this triangular piece. Again, lovely formations to them. And there you can really see that gold uh, shine through that uh, Tiger's Eye is so famous for. Really, really nice feel for them. Great for meditating, you know, uh, and a good size for meditating. Really comfortable to hold. And then we have this last piece as well. It's more of a square piece, as you can see. Um, and again, has those beautiful banding of, uh, of you know, almost gold or honey color. So, uh, again, three nice, really pieces, uh, really nice pieces of uh, Tiger's Eye. And uh, we'll be putting those up on the shop uh, for you to have a look at as well. So, all right. That, I guess, is going to be it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you again real soon here on Crystal Soul Journey. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.